Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for having me as part of this panel in the Bantula International Conference. I am Randy Noblesa from Marinduque State College, and I'm here to present the uh, Putong, Tubong, and Island uh, Ritual in the province of Marinduque. So let me share my screen. So the title of this presentation is Tubong or Putong as Healing Ritual in the Age of Pandemics, Corona or Crown Ritual in the Island Province of Marinduque. So the contents of the presentation is a review of literature of the leading cultural studies scholars in the province of Marinduque, like uh, Brian Viray, uh, Perfecto Mirapuente, and or Ramon Madrigal, Rex Emanuel Asuncion, and Celeste Manrique Romulo. So this uh, presentation would be divided into four parts. One would be uh, introduction, then the next one would be the materials and methods, the third one would be the results and discussion, and for the last part, conclusion and recommendation. So for the introduction, so Marinduque is the island province uh, situated in the heart of the archipelago. So it's known for at least three things. One is the Kalutang instrument playing, and of course, the uh, Moriones uh, Lenten rites, and the topic for this uh, conference is about uh, Putong or Tubong. So this uh, paper or initial uh, review is about the dance, music, uh, performance, uh, ritual of uh, the island province of Marinduque. So I hope to uh, explain the phenomenon of uh, putong or tubong as a ritual in the island province of Marinduque. And I hope I would be able to problematize uh, the ritual of healing in the age of pandemics, especially uh, we're still under the health crisis and emergency. So putong or tubong, according to the uh, cultural uh, studies um, scholar, uh, Brian uh, Viray, uh, according to his uh, 2010 undergraduate uh, study and was uh, published in a journal article in an uh, UGAT uh, journal, a preliminary project using the disciplines of anthropology Ritual and Dance, this paper investigates the coronation ritual called Tubong or Putong practice in Marinduque, Philippines. This was also his uh, masteral dissertation as an uh, Erasmus Mundus a scholar. Uh, he continued his uh, passion on researching about uh, Putong or Tubong in our island province of Marinduque. So according to Viray, the putong ritual as practiced by the manunubongs or the ritual initiators with the visita or visitors for the punshon, the celebrant. As the research not only documents and analyzes a ritual practice, but reconstructs theory from it. Part of the aim is an advocacy to recognize the manunubongs as important intangible cultural heritage agents. Example, ritual specialists and experts who embody indigenous vernacular or local knowledge. In doing so, the study scrutinizes ritual actions such as danas or sensorial and lived experience through performance elements transpired and enacted by manunubongs in relation to the ritual text. Ritual action is examined via concept and realization. So since uh, Brian Viray is uh, Erasmus Mundo's a scholar, he's exposed with different uh, theoretical fields as diverse as performance uh, studies, dance, and uh, ethnography. So he was able to craft his uh, 
master of dissertation in four uh, European universities uh, about our uh, tradition in the island of Marinduque called Tubong or Puto. So to dwell uh, more on the dynamics of Tubong or Putong, let us also explore the language as a key entry point in the study of Tubong or Putong. So according to two uh, pioneering studies of uh, Marinduque Tagalog, according to Cecilio Lopez, also known as the father of Philippine linguistics, according to his uh, landmark study on Buwak Tagalog, when listening to a conversation between people uh, belong to the speech group here in question, a native from the country around Manila is likely to receive the impression that Buwak Tagalog is simpler, more imperfect form of his own more highly developed speech. So meaning to say uh, that the Tagalog uh, variant in the island province of Marinduque is quite different from that of the city center such as Manila. So the same could be said also with other Tagalog uh, dialectal variation in other provinces like Quezon or Mindoro, or even in Rizal. So another uh, landmark uh, study was done by Rosa Soberano, which uh, she identified the uh, two variants of Marinduque Tagalog. So according to her, the bundles of isoglosses which divide Marinduque to two main Tagalog dialect areas constitute a boundary which geographically separates the highland towns from the lowland towns as well as the eastern area from the western area. The two dialect areas have a common central boundary which runs from north to south. The western dialect is predominant in the coastal towns of Gasan and Buena Vista, the capital town of Buak and its adjacent town of uh, the north Mugpug. The eastern dialect is predominant in Santa Cruz and Torrios. If you're going to take a look at the uh, map of Marinduque, the heart-shaped island of uh, Marinduque, you would see Santa Cruz and Torrijos in the eastern part of the province. While you can see Gasan, uh, Buena Vista on the western side of Marinduque. And somewhere in between is, Marin is Buak, the capital town of Marinduque, and also Mugpo. So it lies somewhere between the Marinduque Tagalog east and Marinduque Tagalog West. So when you say uh, Tubong, it's uh, in the eastern part of Marinduque. But uh, in the western part of Marinduque, it's also known as Putong. It's uh, synonymous, but it's not the same. So there are variations all over the six towns in the province of Marinduque. So moving on, the materials and methods. So as mentioned earlier, uh, we give due respect to the cultural studies scholars such as Brian Verai. We also acknowledge the history of Marinduque authors, Perfecto Mirapuente and Ramon Madrigal. And of course, more contemporary uh, cultural studies scholars such as Rex Emanuel Asuncion and Celeste Manrique Romulo. So we take a look at their contribution to Marinduque studies and island and archipelagic studies as well. So putong as a healing ritual. So this is one of the trope of putong or tubong in the island province of Marinduque. So tubong or putong is the ritual dance has three main performance elements. So one is chanting or yung musikang pantinig accompanied by one or two guitars or other string instrument choreograph dance or sayaw, or and movement, gestures or galaw, and sometimes poetry, prayer or dasal. That is also according to Brian Verai in his uh, article about uh, and based on his uh, undergraduate uh, thesis. So likewise, uh, it is also documented as uh, our cover uh, suggests that uh, um, Putong or Tubong is among the most iconic intangible cultural heritage. So the other uh, two uh, iconic uh, practices in the island province of Marinduque is 
the Moriones Lenten Rites, which is considered sacred, especially in the town of Mugpug, which uh, said to be the home of the original Moriones. And uh, from the town of Gasan, uh, considered to be the cultural nerve center of Marinduque, they consider Kalutang instrument playing as something secular. So not uh, holy or uh, sacred, but uh, more uh, mundane and everyday. But uh, Tubong or Putong is uh, something of, uh, of its kind. So it's, it belongs to the uh, intangible cultural heritage domain number three, social events, uh, practices, and rituals. So this is where Tubong or Putong uh, belongs. So not really a sacred or secular, but it's for uh, everyone, for everybody. That's why it's a social uh, event. So as for the results and discussion, so since this is just a preliminary documentation of different cultural studies in the island province of Marintuque, uh, on Putong or Tubong, according to uh, the earlier works, which was documented by the National Artist for Dance, Francisca Reyes Aquino, uh, she included Putong or Tubong as a product of a nationwide field dance research and documentation. So this was also the topic of uh, Brian Birais, uh, another article, uh, a critic about the uh, rendition of Putong and Tubong with, of other uh, dance troupe uh, outside Marinduque. So it's included in the Philippine Folk Dance Volume 1. So published in 1953 and was uh, again published in 1996. So nowadays in the time of pandemics, so we're living uh, in a VUCA world. So in a world that is volatile, uh, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. So we need rituals to make more sense of uh, who we are and our identity. So that's why uh, in the Hearts Council, our organization in Marinduque, uh, which helps the public and government sectors, we came up with this icon of the Putong crown. So the uh, sun has six rays symbolizing the six towns of the province of Marinduque and the font style of 100 and celebration of the centennial in the year 2020 and Marinduque as well is stylized uh, and according to uh, Art Deco motif. So this is of course the iconic Moriones uh, emblem uh, in between and, and just to be reminded that uh, we're still in the age of uh, COVID-19 so we're not yet through and but uh, we hope that we are uh, past with the worst. So even uh, with the pandemic a bit earlier, just before the nationwide uh, lockdown, by March, by February 21, 2020, we were still able to uh, come up with an exhibit, a visual and uh, literary works exhibit, and also a film screening and a performance showcase. Uh, in the bottom part of the picture shows the Santa Cruz Banahaw version of Putong. And we also see here the governor and the mayor and also the house speaker along with the vice governor cutting the, the ribbon. So during the lockdown and quarantine period, we, still, uh, we were still able to uh, perform only virtually and online. We were also uh, commissioned by the Lika and Resource uh, Center of NCCA to come up with a uh, documentary about the female uh, Longhino. And we were also able to mount an uh, online uh, play during the National Literature Month last April. Just to end our presentation, the research aims to maximize the participation, and this is according to uh, Celeste Marique Romulo. And uh, she hopes to modernize and innovate and revitalize Putong 
as a culture of feeling and healing galing. So as the SCCA uh, um, encapsulizes that the culture is the wellspring of uh, well-being. And uh, to end, according to Rex uh, Asuncion, we would be able to uh, pursue cultural studies and island archipelagic studies through various channels of humanities. So we hope to preserve and conserve tradition and folk ways regarding the island and the archipelago. So even uh, during the time of Corona, uh, as a pan, so corona and crown, putong as a ritual. So when you go to Marinduque, you'll see the beheading of Longino. They also have a bantayog for the Marinduque Tagalog, despite the corona novel virus of 2019. So we celebrate the International Year of Creative Economy this year of 2021. So on that note, I'd like to thank again Dr. Ferdi uh, Lopez and Dr. Sani Cristobal for having me again uh, to present this uh, short uh, research paper on putong or tubong as a ritual in the island province of Marinduque. Thank you and good day to everyone.